In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to transfer concepts from one formation to another, specifically taking concepts from the meta and applying them to whatever formation it is that you are running. And we're gonna use the Chiefs playbook to teach this from out of the bunch tight end formation. I'm gonna show you a really great little route combo. It's really one of the concepts that's come out of uh, just competitive Madden this year. And the other benefit of this is you can actually cross apply this same principle to whatever formation you are running running and uh really what i don't even know what the name of this crop uh this concept is called i call it cross um but i'm not exactly sure what the actual name of it is if you go into the bunch offset out of the colts playbook you're going to find this for uh this play uh or the specific crossing route out of the verticals i'm in the chiefs playbook and we're in the bunch halfback strong but again i'm going to show it to you out of bunch tight end here in just a second but verticals is the play and we're going to jump on the field and talk about this so if you want to get any of my ebooks i've got an entire colts ebook i've got an entire bunch tight end offensive ebook i've got a ton of ebooks over in the patreon over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks so if you want to get access to any of that stuff you get every Everything by becoming a member. $10 gets you access to everything. You can sign up at the link in the description. You also get access to all the new stuff by becoming a member as well. So here's the basic concept that we see. And typically, like the only difference would be the running back would be over here and it would be out of a play called PA read out of the Colts playbook. This crossing route is really the, the key piece of this. Uh, but I want to propose to you, you can actually uh, create this if you have Slot Apprentice or Hot Route Master. I'm going to explain how to do that all in this video. So what we're going to do here is we are going to drag the tight end. Now, the purpose of the tight end drag is to go is to attack the flats on the left side of the screen. OK, the purpose of the crosser is to attack the like basically the over a little bit over the top of the curl flat area. Right. And so we're going to attack the and then the purpose of this fade is to clear out streaks. So if you look at this real quick with me, I'm going to go to zone and we'll talk about man in just a second. But if you look at this, if you just watch how this coverage is going to play out, this guy is going to be an intermediate curl flat defender about 10 yards. This defender is going to run the uh, the deep. So if you just look at this basic principle what is open on this play well if you look to the left side of the screen the drag should be open or if that curl flat defender bites down on the drag then this crossing route should be open and then we're also going to have a backside slant route kind of as a check down if they're putting all their zones to the sidelines it opens up the middle of the field so again we'll just show this real quick and what you'll see here is you have the drag that's not there but then if i look up i got my crosser over the top of the defender okay now again we got some weird matching uh going on there which we'll talk about how to handle that in just a second but basically that's the idea of the concept it's really and that's why I say I call it crosser and it's really reminiscent of a concept that I know as Y cross and Y cross if you watch this is basically the concept of Y cross where you're going to have an out route over here with paired that with a fade so you have a fade out concept and then you have the cross concept which is essentially a maybe like a crossing route or a slot apprentice post and then on the back side, you have some type of backside check down. That could be a dig, a little five yard baby in route, a little curl, something like this. And this is basically the concept. And again, you can cross apply this to all kinds of different formations if you understand the principle. As for principles, there are few. As to methods, there are many master first principles, okay? So again, just real quick, how does this play attack man-to-man -man coverage? Well, a couple different things that we can do. Um, and, and this is how you can create it with your slot apprentice. So everything that I showed you is a straight hot route. Everyone has access to a streak. Everyone has access to a drag. Everyone has access to a slant. The only route we need to create is really the crossing route. Now, if you use this slot apprentice crosser, that route is so deep and it takes so long to get across the formation. In this year's game, it's really not that effective. But the slot apprentice post route is going to get across the field a little faster. It's also going to be more effective against man coverage. So we're going to utilize this motion slant. And how does this play attack man coverage? Well, we run against man and we sit in zone. And so what you see here is we are just running ourselves open against man coverage. Our drag is running itself open into the flat area. Our post is running itself open across the middle of the field and uh, to the to the basically to the deep sideline. And then your backside slant is one of the best routes in the game this year at attacking man coverage. And this is actually a route 
that uh, Skimbo utilized in Madden 17. If you go back and watch Madden 17, uh, Skimbo utilized this basic concept. Now, he was actually doing it a little bit different. I think he had a Z spot. His concept was basically, I actually have Z spot here. So his concept was basically this. And the only main difference was your clear out was in the middle of the field now. And then you had this backside post and it really created almost a, essentially a slant post concept uh, with what we see today, okay? So how do we take all of that and apply it to other formations, such as bunch tied in, for example? Well, we're gonna utilize this play PA boot over um, because we have, number one, we have great play action blocking. And number two, we have all the routes that we need to create the play. Now, if you don't want to use it out of P but over, you could probably find other plays. I think there's a play in um, the run heavy playbook called tight end corner that you can utilize to do this. So how we're going to set this up is we're going to streak our tight end. So our tight end is the clear out route, right? Then we're going to slant this backside receiver. And this receiver, again, we don't necessarily love crossing routes. What we like is a slot apprentice post route. So you could do it like this. And I did not mean to motion him across, but you basically have that. And then you have your, your motion out slant over here on the left side. So again, super simple concept, but what do we have here? Well, guess what? We have the flat, so we take the flat, right? We can throw our quick drag or our quick crosser to the flat. So now they defensively have to guard the flat route. So they have to shade down or they have to play hard flats. There's adjustments that they have to make to guard that. Then... Now, okay, well, we've taken the flat. We're attacking them vertically as well with the tight end. And so that leaves that little pocket open for that player right there. So as you can see, two main things that they have to guard. So now the third thing that they have to do is let's say maybe they get really adjusty. They go to something like this, but their user has to guard the post in the middle of the field. And what this does is now my backside slant is a great little check down because they have to guard that post. I can throw that slant in front of the hook curls, which is one of the most advanced ways to throw slants. When you can, these motion slants are so good because you can throw them in between tight windows. Now, for fun, I wanted to show you one other thing that you can do with this and how you can create this concept out of any formation that you wanna run. It doesn't matter what formation it is. So we're gonna go over here to Trio Offset. All right, I've never ran this. I don't think I've ran this formation all year. Okay, how can you run this same concept? We can use this play middle slant. We have this little uh, kind of almost crosser type looking. We'll look at it. Okay, it's a slant. You could actually run it like this if you wanted to. And you could do it inverted like this if you want. Um, or what you can easily do here is we're going to slot apprentice post this guy. We've got the drag here. We've got this crosser. And then instead of a five or a slant, we're going to utilize a, a, um, a little out route or a little in route here. So what you're going to see here, streak, drag, post, and then I have the backside in. So you see I was throwing the post right there. That's how you can cross apply this stuff uh, to really whatever you want to do. Now, another cool tip with this is you can actually invert it and do it a little bit differently. So what we can do is we can take our tight end, make him the post player. Now this out route is gonna be the drag route on the, on the concept. And then we're gonna slant Michael Irvin and motion him across and he's gonna be that backside slant. So we've created basically the same concept from a completely different formation and a completely different alignment. And we can throw the ball to Sam Adams, four six right but you see the idea okay and the beauty of this is this is where i think you know what separates some of the best man players in the world from people that maybe don't necessarily have a complete understanding but you can literally just apply concepts from one formation to the next formation and typically they're going to work pretty pretty well so Anyways, I just wanted to teach on this today. I hope that this was helpful. Again, if you want to get access to any of my eBooks, everything is in the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything. And also, if you guys want to check this out for free, completely free, I created a free eBook for you guys. I'm going to put a link to that in the description as well. It teaches you the five cornerstone passing concepts in Madden, why they have been proven over the last probably 10 years. These are the best concepts of the last 10 years. And that means they're probably going to be really, really good next year. So if you want to get access to that completely free ebook, the link is down in the description below. Thanks for watching the video and head down to the description, check out the free ebook and also go check out the Patreon page.